Hey guys, welcome to Tony's Autos. In this video, we'll be showing you Disney Plus, the ultimate guide. So we have a lot of topics here to discuss, so let's start with how to download Disney Plus, Hotstar, and Laptop or PC. So in this case, you might be wondering, is there an app that you could download for Hotstar for you to start using it in your laptop or PC? Well, the direct answer to that is no, there's no application yet that could actually add it into your laptop or PC. But there's going to be an alternative that we could actually try here for you to start using it or have a shortcut here on your desktop. So what we need to do is we need to open up our browser, go to hatstar.com here, and as you can see, my screen or the website itself is having troubles loading up. But in this case, once you're in the website itself, go ahead and click on the tree that icon at the top right off your screen. And from here, what we need to do is we need to actually save this into our PC. So in this case, so in here, what you need to do is you need to choose the option that says save and share and choose the option that says create shortcut. Now from here, this will actually create a shortcut in your desktop. So in this case, if you don't see it, make sure to click it again, go ahead and search for save and search and just click on create shortcut. And now you'll see this pop up here, which in this case, you just need to indicate the name of Hotstar here and make sure that you set this as open as window and hit on create. Now from here on, this will actually create a shortcut for Hotstar in your desktop and you just need to open it up every time you want to watch or use Hotstar. And that's about it. How to watch Disney Plus for free. So if you're wondering if there's any way for you to actually access Disney Plus for free or watch their shows for free, well, we have a few things that you could do here or to consider doing uh, for you to access Disney Plus. So one of the first thing, which is actually situational. So if you are a US mobile customer, you can get a free Disney Plus Hulu ESPN Plus bundle. So the care offers perks for people who sign up for multiple unlimited lines per account. That includes a way to get the free Disney Plus Hulu ESPN Plus bundle, which usually costs around $14.99 a month. And you need to have three unlimited lines for your account. And then you pick a bundle from the choices of streaming services. Now, if you're not a US mobile customer, well, we have another thing that you could consider doing or if you are eligible for this one. Now, another option is if you're a Disney Park employee, you might be eligible for a free subscription on Disney Plus. But the only thing that is actually hindering you on getting this one is you need to choose between Disney Plus subscription over a Disney Park Pass. So you either choose a Disney Plus subscription or a Disney Park Pass. So yeah, unfortunately you have to choose one of those. But if you're not employee, we still have another thing that you could consider. So if you're a customer or a new member or an existing member for Delta Sky Mouse, well, you could get a free trial for Disney Plus. So that includes a two week free trial. So if you want to know more about this one, you could go ahead and contact Sky Miles to know more how you get those free trials. Now, if you're not a member of Sky Miles or Delta Sky Miles, well, we have the last solution here or the last method that you could try doing. So you could get it with Hulu Plus Live TV, but the only kick here is you have to subscribe to Hulu Plus. So the good thing about Hulu Plus is you could actually access Disney Plus here, but if you're accessing Disney Plus, they do have ads on their Disney Plus access, so it's the next best thing. So if you want to go ahead and use Hulu Plus for this one, you'll also be able to use Disney Plus, but with ads. How to connect Disney Plus to TV. So for you to connect your Disney Plus account to your TV, first thing that you have to do here is we first have to ensure that you install the Disney Plus application on your TV itself. So since there are different brands of TV out there, you might have to refer to your TV's manual on how to install apps into your TV. So in this case, go ahead and refer to your manual and install the Disney Plus mobile, the application itself.
Now, once you've done that, go ahead and open up the Disney Plus application. And from there, just select Lock In. Now, once you've logged in, we are now ready to connect your TV. Now, in this case, uh, we have to visit a very specific website. So in this case, my view right now is going to be my PC. So you, be, you both need a PC or a mobile phone that has uh, internet on it or a browser on it and uh, open up. Now, in this case, we need to go to this website here. It's going to be DisneyPlus.com. Now, from here, we need to change our URL. So make sure that you delete any of the access URL here. And you want to type in the following, which is going to be begin. Now, once you've typed that, go ahead and press on enter. And another window should appear on your screen, on your computer or mobile device. Now, in this case, you need to enter the eight digit code that appears on your TV. And from there, just follow the prompts that will appear be appearing on your screen for you to connect your Disney Plus to your TV. And that's about it. So this one is pretty simple. Make sure that you follow the steps and you should be good. How to do group watch on Disney Plus. So you might be wondering how to actually do group watch in Disney Plus. So doing group watch in Disney Plus can be a great thing, especially if you want to spend some time with your friends or your family members. Now in this case, first thing we need to do is we need to open up Disney Plus. So go ahead and open it up. Now just a few information for you or for you to actually use the group watch option here in Disney Plus. So well, there is actually a requirement for you to actually utilize this feature. So first thing we need to do here is you first have to have the premium version for Disney Plus. So in this case, you as well as the other people that wants to join or use the group watch functionality, both both you or all the people that want to join should have the premium plan. Now, if you don't have the premium plan, this option will not be available to you. Now, in this case, if you really want to use it, consider on upgrading your plan here. But once you've upgraded your plan and you're or you already now or you have the premium plan already in your account, what we need to do first is we need to basically lo look for the show that we want to watch. Now, in this case, click on that show. And from here, usually at the bottom section, next to the watch list section or the share section, you should be able to see the group watch icon, which is represented by different uh, icons of people. Now, if you click on it, you'll be able to see the UI on it and you'll be able to basically start sharing it or add start adding people into that group watch. Now, in this case, one of the requirements for you to actually use it is to have a premium plan. But in this case, if you don't have it, this feature will not be available on your account like what I have right now. How to change age rating on Disney Plus. So first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the Disney Plus mobile application. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to access MySpace. So at the bottom right of the screen, go ahead and click on it. Now, just a few information about this one. So previously, when you actually click on the edit option there next to profiles, you'll be able to actually start editing that specific profile. Like for example, if you want to edit this profile here that says, oh, so let's go ahead and click on it. So usually at the bottom section here, you'll see you will have the option to change rating itself. But in this case, due to the updates on Disney Plus right now, the settings for this one is kind of different. So in this case, for you to change your age rating here in Disney Plus, what we need to do here first is we need to access that specific account. Now in this case, we need to click on the O account here since that's the account we want to change. And from here, we want to click on help and settings at the top right of your screen. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to access the option that says parental controls. Go ahead and click on it. And from here, just enable the parental lock. So in this case, make sure that you enable this one. And from here, just add a lock. So maybe I want to add this lock here. Just click on the next button. And I want to confirm that specific pin. Click on save and continue. And as you can see, pin set successfully. Use this pin to access 18 plus profiles. Now, in this case, when this actually has been set up, it needs to enter that specific pin, uh, pin for them to actually access 18 plus account or profiles or 18 plus accounts. Now, in this case, if you want to basically set or basically uh, change it, so currently changing it is not possible, but we do have a way to restrict that. So any other user that wants to access a profile that is 18 plus, then they have to enter that specific pin. So if you're looking to create a profile for a child here, so let's just create a new one, enter your pin here, choose a profile name. So maybe you want to say 
hey here it's going to be the name of that profile and in here we want to make sure ensure that you actually set this up properly now in this case maybe you want to set this to plus plus pg or g but in this case once you've done that you could go ahead and just basically uh, continue clicking on create profile here and you should be able to create that specific profile now whenever they try accessing the other profiles here as you can see it's going to require a pin in this case this is the only way for us to protect our account for 18 plus profiles but that's about it you had to change the language on disney plus so first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up the disney plus mobile application now from here what we need to do next is we need to access our myspace section so at the bottom right of your screen go ahead and click on it and from here what we need to do is we need to access help and settings now in this case what we need to do next is we need to choose the option that says app settings so let's go ahead and click on it and from here click on app language now from here depending on where you're currently located you will be able to change the language or app language of your application or mobile application here to a different one now in this case the only app or the only language available on my account right now since in my region is english i'll i'll, I'll be only be able to change it to english now in this case if you're looking for to change the language itself on the tv show or the series or movie that you're watching so what we need to do here is first look for that specific movie or series and click on it now from here what we need to do next is we need to click on the option that says audio and subtitles and from here you should be able to change the audio of the show itself or change the subtitles if you want to now depending on the show itself it's going to have the following options like for example for the show you have the following which is which has korean japanese italian mandarin spanish and a lot more now, if for your subtitles, depending on the series or movie itself, you'll be able to change this to English, Arabic, Sej, Danish, German, Greek, Finnish, and a lot more. How to change payment method on Disney Plus. So, for you to change your payment method on Disney Plus, what we need to do first is we need to access the web version of Disney Plus. So, whenever in your computer or, or in your mobile device, but in this case, I would actually recommend you try doing this on your PC. So in this case, go to DisneyPlus.com, log in into your account, and once in your account, what we need to do next is we need to access our MySpace section. So at the left side of the website, you should see your profile icon. So go ahead and click on MySpace. And from here, need, click on the option that says Help and Settings at the top right of your screen. Now from here, you should be able to see the few information about yourself. So that includes the paid via card, the registered mobile number, this device, other devices, and a lot more. Now if you want to change your payment method, what we need to do here is just click on the option that says Update. And once you click on it, it's going to reload the page again and we're in, you'll need to enter the updated card details. So that includes the name of that card, the card number, the expiry date of that specific card, and the CVV. And once you've entered all those details, just click on the verify and update and you should be able to update your payment method now on Disney+. Plus. How to remove shows from continue watching on Disney+. Plus. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you move those continue watching shows that you no longer want to actually watch in your queue? But in this case, removing them is actually pretty easy, maybe a movie or a TV series. So first things first, go ahead and open up the app or go ahead and open up Disney Plus here. Now once you've logged in, what you need to do is you need to scroll down a bit and look for the option or the section that says continue watching. Now in this section, you should be able to start watching the actual TV show or series again. Now there are actually two ways on actually moving it for movies and as well as for a TV show. Now in this case, whenever you open up a movie or a TV show, usually you should be able to see the player as you can see right now on my screen. Now, what you need to do here is you just need to open up the movie. So first, it is going to be the movie. Go ahead and open up the movie. And what you need to do is you just need to drag the current time of that specific movie playing to the very end. Now, if you move the actual play or the actual current time of that movie to the very end, that would actually mark the movie or uh, in this case, the movie itself as finished. So meaning whenever you drag it at the very, very end, it's going to be removed from your continue watching section.
Now for series, this is kind of complicated here. So what you need to do is you need to go to the very last episode of that series and basically move the time itself or the uh, play button or the uh, current time of that specific uh uh, episode to the very end again so in this case go ahead and drag that small dot to the very end for you to actually move the or, or remove this series from your continue watching again for movies you just need to open up the movie and drag the uh, white button at the very bottom here to the very end at the very right of your screen to remove it now for series go to the last episode of that series and drag the time or the dot but the dot icon that you see there to the very end for you to remove it but in this case, that's about it. How to remove something from continue watching on Disney+. Plus. Now in this case, if you're wondering how they actually move a continue watching show on that specific row, well, this one is actually pretty easy. First thing we need to do is we need to open up the Disney Plus mobile application. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to basically choose our profile here. So let's go ahead and click on our profile. And from here, we want to scroll down a bit until you see the continue watching uh, section. Now in this case, you should be able to see different shows here. So if you want to remove that specific show, go ahead and click on the tree dotted icon there and click on remove from continue watching. And that's going to remove that specific show. Now also, if you go to MySpace here, you'll, you'll also be able to see the continue watching section as well. So if you click on the tree dotted icon, again, you should see the remove from continue watching. Clicking on it should, that, should remove that. And as you can see, when we go back in here, we are going to see the updated version, which in this case, the continue watching section is now removed since we don't have any shows currently watching. All right, to delete Watch X3 on Disney+. Plus. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to open up the Disney Plus mobile application. So in this case, let's go ahead and open it up and log in into our account. Now in this case, sometimes when you actually open up your Disney Plus account here, at the uh, midsection here, you should see the row that says continue, continue watching for your name. Now in this case, if you click on one of those, it's going to basically continue watching that specific show. But in this case, if you don't want to start watching that show or you have actually don't want to continue it, there are ways for you to actually remove this. So first things first, if you don't see that show here appearing on your screen, then you might want to consider actually closing the application itself and from there, basically shut down the application itself and make sure that it's not running in the background. Now, once you've done that, open it up again and see if the uh, that specific show is now in the continue watching section. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we need to click on the tree dotted icon next to the show that we want to remove. So in this case, we want to click on this one. And from here, choose the option that says remove from continue watching so that we'll be able to remove it from our history. How to delete a profile in Disney+. Plus. So you might be wondering, how do you actually delete a profiles in Disney+. Plus? So in this case, if you want to delete a profile that you're no longer using and you don't want to see it anymore in your account and you only need one profile, well, deleting that profile is actually pretty easy. So first thing we need to do here is we need to open up the Disney Plus mobile application. Now from here, we need to access our space. So at the bottom right of the screen, click on the My Space section. And from here, what we need to do is we need to click on the Edit option that you see next to the Profile section there. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, choose the profile that you want to delete. In this case, we have this profile here that says, well, let's go ahead and click on it. And from here at the top right, you should see an option that says Delete. Now, if you really want to delete that account or that specific profile, just click on delete here. It's going to say, are you sure? So if you're really sure, click on delete profile. It's going to start the deletion process. And as you can see, we were able to successfully delete our profile in Disney+. Plus. How to cancel subscription on Disney+. Plus. So first thing we need to do here is we need to open up Disney Plus mobile application. Now in here, what we need to do next is we need to choose our profile. And once we click on our profile, we should be able to see the main UI of Disney+. Plus. Now in this case, we need to access our settings. So our settings is located in the MySpace section. 
So at the bottom right of the screen, click on the MySpace section. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to access Help and Settings. So at the top right, click on Help and Settings. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to go to Account Settings. So go ahead and click on Account Settings at the very top. And from here, you should be able to see a few information about your account. Now we have the Disney Plus Mobile Monthly, the devices, other devices that are associated in our account, as well as the associated mobile number for that account. Now, if you want to cancel your subscription and you don't want to renew it on the next renewal date, well, what you need to do here is just click on the cancel button next to the view benefits section. And once you click on it, it's going to say, are you sure you want to cancel? So your plan will not be auto renewed on the following date. So no refunds will be made. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and start using or still use your Disney Plus account here for until the following date here. But as a but if that date actually passes, then you won't be able to basically use your Disney Plus account here. Now, if you're sure, just click on Cancel Auto Renewal. And as you can see, it's going to basically cancel the renewal for your account. And from here on, you should be good. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.